this is Melissa Shaw with Our Generation, where we educate, empower, and inspire. And I'm excited. I am excited about my episode, um, which you are 143. I have done 143 episodes. Um, this month will mark me having been on YouTube a year, Woo! which I didn't even think I would want to be on YouTube at all. <laughs> but I'm glad that I have done it, and uh, it's been definitely a journey. Um, so stay tuned for. I'm going to be doing a special. Um, event next month for everyone that I have interviewed um so yeah be on the lookout for that um and yeah so welcome and we met at the small business expo women's small business expo correct down at the Alexander hotel which is a beautiful hotel yes um so yeah tell the audience a little bit about you and your name all right Thank you again for having me and for allowing me to be 143 in your success journey. I am Takesha Jones, CEO and founder of Empowered to Be, where we infuse art and well-being for healing, and we work with executive leaders to reduce their stress and the stress of their employees or communities through artful practices of mindfulness and well-being, whether that's dance, movement, um, visual art, um, and all of those sorts. And a little bit about me, just some small tidbits. I am a lighthouse enthusiast. I am also a skydiver. Okay. Uh huh. Just a few little things out there. That's... And I'm also a solo traveler. So just so you can get a little bit of uh, personal info. Yeah, uh, behind, I love that. Behind the CEO. Life, so you know. solo traveler, please explain, because I love to travel and I have traveled solo, um, and I it was great. And when I tell people that I like last year I went to Florida. And it was just like a three-day trip, um, mm -hmm. and it was great. And they was like, you was by yourself? What? I said, yeah. yeah. They asked that. They're like, you wasn't bored? Why would I be? <laughs> I had my book. I sat on the beach. I ate what I wanted. I You're did what vibe. I wanted. Um, I did paddle, paddle boarding That's on my list. by myself. Like, I just, yeah. Yes. So solo traveling is all of that. I yeah. did my first uh, international solo travel That's what I last to do. year. Yeah. Ooh, I've got the places for you. And just, it is an amazing experience as a woman mm. to reclaim mm -hmm. who we are, to reassess where we are on the journey of life when all the stress and everything hits us. And Absolutely. we have all the duties of the world. Yeah. And then we're like, wait a minute, who am I? Mm -hmm. What do I need? Like you said, you don't need to plan for anybody else, which we're so used to managing and yeah. taking care of things. But when you go by yourself, some of your own time schedule, you can get up, lay down, plan your trips, cancel your trips, yeah. go a different direction, and just flow. So solo traveling um, is a new favorite thing for me um, as far as internationally is. Um, so I will start to do that hopefully once a year. That is my goal now um, because I went to five different countries and took my time with a backpack, a bag, and some Wow. What made you do that? Oh, I needed needed that break. Mm -hmm. I had a goal for an upcoming birthday, it's a big one, um, and I, I told myself that I wanted to solo travel before then. I didn't even plan to go when I did. It was just a moment of, I've got to go. Uh. You ever like had that moment and you said something to yourself and it just hit, this is the moment, I've got to go now. I need this for myself. Mm -hmm. I need this to heal. I need this to um, get well. I need this to reconnect. Where'd you go? So I went to Germany, I went to uh, Paris, and I went to Barcelona, then I went to Porto and Lisbon in Portugal, went over to Morocco and Casablanca, over in um, Casablanca and Marrakesh in Morocco, and then went back to Portugal then to Spain. So you did all that at the same time? Because I know I have a friend, her and her husband are stationed in Germany, and she has been wanting me to come visit. And uh, she's like, you come over here, there's so many places you can go oh, from Germany. Yes, and oh my gosh. Yeah. If you're, if you're a person who can make quick decisions, you can get this. You can get there even better. Because you have to plan for different things. You have to do 
Mm-hmm. And that's another thing that I want to say. Just keep doing indecisive. Mm. Make that decision and just do it. Mm. I struggle with being indecisive. Oh, I was a struggler. Still a little bit now. Yeah. That trip has really helped me to just like own it. Because you can't be indecisive in that moment. You can't. You got to look. You got to make sure that you're um, you're aware of where you are. Also, that you got what you need. That you're taking care of yourself. If, if you're sick or something, you just have that quick moment. Mm. And being in a place where um, you have to listen to different languages and do different things, like you are on your own. Mm. I said I wasn't the survivor or the show that's alone where you're up there by yourself, but that's like in the woods, <laughs> but taking in this beautiful world. With yeah. Beautiful people. With yeah. Mm-hmm. And what brings joy to them, what heals them. Mm-hmm. And so this was a this was a no brainer for me. I love that. So where's your goal to go next? I do not have an exact place yet. Um, again, just out of the country. Yeah. I love stepping out of the country. Yeah. That's amazing. Uh I wanna go to Bali. That is up there. There's a Have you um, ever read or watched Eat, Pray, Love with Julia Roberts? I've not. That is on the list, too. I mean, that's the other thing. You have so many lists of things that you don't get to do mm-hmm. whenever you're gone and you're on that plane. Yeah. Plugging, or, yeah. Um, reading that book, you just get so just immersed. You can do all those things. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So that, um, after I watched that, I was, because she left and she went to Bali she went to Paris, like she went, she traveled and it did so much for her. And she went to a mosque where she couldn't speak. Like it was just, it was a lot. And I was like, I could definitely see myself met people. She like had dinner with people that she didn't even know. And Oh yes. I was talking and eating with one of the, um, I'll just say higher up for better words. Of the ladies dignitaries, and we were just in the same hotel in um, Portugal. And I said, uh, Would you like to eat um, with me? And she came over and everything, and we got to talk to people. And who I was talking, she was like, oh, Okay, but again, we're just people, yeah. And having that conversation and being who I am, it's like, Oh, I'm just probably sick. <laughs> just sitting here, yeah, eating with this person. It's like, just really cool. And, get to know people. and she probably felt some type of way because people probably know her and mm-hmm. so she got to be a normal person. Normal. Yeah. Yes. yes. And we talked and we laughed and we had a good enough course on different languages that she spoke so it was good to just hear the mm. dialect and she would take turn and she would talk to the people there and everything. Wow. So what prompted you to start your business? Well, um, in twenty nineteen I actually wrote a book. That's what began everything. But there was plans years and years um, and at this particular time, I was dealing with the same thing that I just stressed and how I remembered the way that there's some men when I stepped out of the water, literally, the woods. No yes, I remember you telling me that. Wow. The no ability of the leg, and all I have was my arm. I'm like, it's right. Mm. And so I just remembered his excessive heart can kill me through this physical situation. Really, it's important that you fix that inner person and just get back to home. You need to start writing again. It's been 48 hours. I said, you know what? Maybe you'd like to write a book. I said, you hear me? I hear you guys. Let's go. Let's get it. And I wrote that book, and then I was like, you know what? I don't know all the things to tell you, but it brings healing to me. Mm-hmm. I need to share with other people what I've been doing, and I need to share how it can help them. And so that first empowered to me. If you look at the name of Sister Bridget Reeves, and Bridget Reeves, and what she did, although it can be for communities or for workplaces, it was individualized when she started healing the heart. Mm-hmm. Because it's not about the the end outcome; it's about the process mm-hmm. and releasing the pain. So that actually began that journey, so that other people can enjoy that healing and find a way that wasn't as invasive. You didn't have to sell all your business if you didn't want to, mm-hmm. and find what is convenient for you. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be a pro. Pick up a coloring pen, pick up paint from the dollar store, if you will, or a pencil, whatever you want to do. Put on mm-hmm. some music, because we all have at least one song that we can do. 
And once you start doing that, because you can't really be too sad in bed. Yeah. And I love, 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 love music. Yeah. yeah. I, can, I can see that. I just enjoy, like, whenever I met you, I was like, you just seem like someone that would be that calm and just vibe with them. It's just, it's just meeting you. Yeah. Some of the people to experience that. Yeah. And it, it wasn't what I intended with writing the book. And mm. then the 2020 happened, and I had to cancel all the book tours. And people just began to say, hey, we can't have that many people here because of the restrictions, but will you come? Um, and dance for us, and would you come and mm. do X, Y, and Z for us? And then another um, client said, hey, you have people in these different states, and we're wanting to do something, um, but we didn't know what to do. And I said, hey, I can do the six breath of art, and we're so poor to share pictures of those with Tanisha. Mm. Spoken it out of my mouth, didn't even really realize I was just sharing with her what I could do to help. And that's what really turned the business around. Wow. Because people started asking and doing what I just naturally did. Yeah. I love that. So years, years later, I put together everything and looking, and I had, like I said, business plan way back, and I went to the computer document, and I found where I had written down a business name mm. that I wanted the wellness coaching, because I wasn't a coach then, so I had the wellness coaching. And it happened that particular year, so um, two years before I started. I also wanted to put in the arts and wellness along the journey, which included dance and art. Totally forgot about it. Didn't even remember doing it. Mm. But when I looked at the plan, I said, you know what? Everything is lined up. And it's just the flow of getting to it and getting in the place where we need to. And when we're overstressed and overwhelmed, we forget our purpose. Mm -hmm. We forget who we are. Mm -hmm. We forget to take care of ourselves, too. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we even want to give up. Yeah. Yeah, and that happens a lot. Yeah. And it goes in waves. Waves, yes. You know, one minute, we got it together. My emotions yeah. are good. I don't have no anxiety. I've got, I got this. But then the next minute, you don't want to get out of bed. You wake up, at least this. I've been struggling this past week. My anxiety has been high every single morning. And that just, that is hard when you wake up to that. Yes. Because that sets the tone for your day. Yes. And so to struggle through that, it's like I have to get out of the house. Because if I were to stay, my ass would be in my bed. Let's be real. <laughs> because that's my safe space. Mm -hmm. It always has been. I just, I love my bed. And yeah, so it's like a vortex. <laughs> <laughs> it comes, yeah. And that's why I do art because I can, I do what I call a sneak of each. I merge into health and wellness, those health and behavioral um, habits that we have and recognizing that, recognize what that is and mm -hmm. recognize what I help you out. I'm glad that you have that acknowledgement of yourself oh, and yeah. where you are and that you're open and sharing with people just because this is healing. This yeah. Is, this is very healing for individuals who maybe sit in there like I didn't realize it was not just me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. I it, thought this bed was just gonna take me over. I didn't think that I mattered. Yeah. I thought it was me, but as women too. There's so many things that go on, hormonal mm. and health mm. and things like mm. that that we must take into account. Oh my goodness. I think we got one good week out of the month where okay. we where we may feel like we're normal. If that. Yeah. <laughs> it is it's an awful feeling because you literally, you know, I can only imagine what it's like on the outside. You know, how people perceive, you know, us, but what we struggle with on the the demons that we struggle with on the inside. It's like I'm gonna cry one minute and I'm about to kill you the next. <laughs> <laughs> we are a dangerous being. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yep. So you've been doing this since 2020. 2019. So okay. Five, That's what your five year anniversary oh, on Sunday. Congratulations. Thank five you. years is a big deal. It is. It is. And I was recently at a Rochelle house. Most businesses, 50 per, well, 50 percent of most businesses do not make it to five mm -hmm. years. And I was mm -hmm. like, Still here, because you know it's business owners and days are like, I'm done. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. Yep. It's been years of mine and where it's just, you have Yeah. Reach out. Mm -hmm. Remind me that your past self, you can see them coming up. You can die in their hands. Yeah. I'm going to die in their hands. Yeah, absolutely. Like I had a meeting with a gentleman today. Um, he's, he'll be 25 tomorrow, and I met him at a vendor event, and we was just, 
talking and like he started pouring into me. I literally started crying. And I'm like, oh my God, what it like that seeing my vision play out, bridging that generational gap. Like there very rarely do you see my generation and that generation come together and exchange the way we did. And value was given on both ends. It was just so beautiful. And it just that's what made me emotional because it was like, this is really happening. And he his background, you know, he's from the streets and he has a clothing brand now. And seeing how his him telling his story, because he said that I helped him to, to realize how important it was. And so from him to tell it, to being put in a, an environment to where he was able to meet somebody that now his clothing brand is in stores. He said that would have never happened. And so for me to be a part of that in the way it evolved. So similar to you, like when you did that, you didn't really have, you kind of had in mind, but you didn't know how it was going to play out. I knew I wanted to have a nonprofit. Didn't know the podcast was a part of it. Didn't know that was going to take front and center and really be the key, the puzzle piece that needed to be to kind of take and it just yeah it's crazy when you look back so my me being obedient to doing the podcast which i didn't want to do enabled me <laughs> obedient oh. enabled me to touch lives that i probably would have never touched and he said that by him having that experience he is doing things that he sooner than he thought he would ever do yeah and he's he's 25. He's such a sweet person. And when he, he's been shot, his twin brother was killed. Like he's dealt with so much trauma, but he just has this such this dream and this picture. And it takes one person to okay. say, you know what? I got you. Yeah, it's so important. And I really saw that today. So all this anxiety that I've been dealing with, not wanting to. I needed to see that this needed to happen today so that I can be reminded mm -hmm. this is why you do what you do. It's not about you. I, I, I hear that so much. It's yeah. Not about you. It's yeah. The impact. Yeah. And I know our generation. Yeah. Yes. And he talked about that. He was like, we are bridging not only just generational, but cultural. He was like, because you being a white woman and when we're together, the dynamics that we have, people will be like, wow, like they really are crossing boundaries mm -hmm. with that. I told you, just like my people from home, because I'm from North Carolina, so you, you just feel like home for me. Yeah, so, thank you. Oh, yep. yeah, that, that's amazing. I'm glad that he was there. I'm glad to experience that. Yeah. And that reminder, too, and the stories when people um, go through this, I hope that you'll remember and to write it down. Mm -hmm. This this year, podcasting has become a storytelling. Yep. The way that traditions were passed down, the way mm -hmm. that the testimonials of, of old were given, it's the way mm -hmm. that the ancestors were being able to, to share what was going on through someone else's mouth and going on. Mm -hmm. So the generation, whenever you're long gone from yeah. here, yep. you'll be able to reach back to your generation, your um, father, what he did not get to see. And, and mm -hmm. it's just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so to be able to, to know that this is permanent, like this is out it's there. there, it's in the world now. So now my great 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 kids gonna be like, oh yeah, she was crazy, or she, you know, just to like, be able to, right? Yeah, exactly, that's where I got that from. Because <laughs> you wonder, you know, and we didn't have that. So to be able to document, like you said, in a way where they can really touch back and be like, oh wow, now I know why I respond the way I do because. Or now I see the mannerisms that I have, where I got that from. Because we pass stuff down, yeah. and we don't even know, especially as women. Yeah. We carry a lot of, and I, I was talking with someone, and she does a lot of womb wellness, and, you know, with the woman's body. Yeah. And, you know, we was already in our great-grandmother's body. Like, our egg, like, we was already there. And it passed on. So sometimes when we deal with certain experiences, like my daughter, for example, she's 19 and she was dealing with a similar experience um, with uh, her boyfriend. And as she was telling me, I'm like, oh, my God. We never talked about this. 
but how are you having the exact same experience? It was just really mind blowing. It reminds me of something I do called body mapping. Mm. It's a form of art where I take my clients through um, meditation progress um, process, and they create an art about their bodies and things that are going on. Once you do that, you sit back and you, you look, and you have colors all over the page. You have words all over the page. And me, as a therapeutic expressive artist, I can read and look at the colors and, and place them on the paper and say, well, that was past, that's future, you mm. know, this here kind of thing. But just mainly in the sense of asking, so what was this for you at this time? Mm. Instead of guiding the conversation, that's the difference between the therapist. I want to put that out there. I yes. am not a <laughs> therapist. Nice. But I recently did some workshops with some women, and they begin to talk about that when it comes up. Because that's why I love the art. There's a book called The Body Yes, the yes. I need to read that yes, book. Does. I need to finish that book. I oh my! I think you. I that. think you might have mentioned that when I met you, and then I had somebody else, and it's in my cart, so I need to get it. Yeah. yeah. I have so many books. I need to just go away and just engulf myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow. Express. Do some art. Yeah. Do some, some self-promise. It's, yeah. it's all good. So do you, so what, like, what is your programs? Kind of what do you do? One-on-ones? Do you do groups? Kind of so talk I about. I to business. I work with organizations because I have a larger impact in reach the group. And whenever I'm there, it so happened there um, for individuals that can apply to me. I think it's um, totally fine. Um, but if a company or organization said, hey, we're well, here. This is going on. We're having some turnover, or um, this this particular thing has happened. This person has left, or we just need a fun and exciting thing to do. And they don't know that they're getting set up. You know, yeah. Because you're going to have some fun, but you're going to do do some self work too. Yeah. Uh, and then I listen and assess what's really going on by what you're saying, what you're not saying, and what is possible mm. that could be there. Mm. And I bring in an art that matches what would be suitable for that. And if um, if I feel that people don't want to be, you know, talking about something, it's another art that allows them to do it yourself, then pair with one person, and then share openly what they feel like sharing. Mm. And that helps to um, be inclusive enough. And another thing about the arts for those with um, disabilities or different learning styles, there's something called um, design or learning. Um, Um, what do you see yourself doing? Anything you're adding on or any other things you're going to be doing in the future? Uh, well, this Saturday, actually, I'm part of the IBE okay. Arts, um, Cultural Arts uh, Cafe. Nice. And so that will be a program. And I also have something in finishing up the process with the people and working with the different populations. So I'm excited for that. Stay tuned. Hold your horses. Yeah. Hold your horses. But I see myself doing a lot more um, work with care, not just caretakers, um, but in hospitals or um, patients in hospitals. Um, I would love to do that because that's another reason why I came into doing some of the things that I do, um, just working with people who were sick or who had things that were going on as a child. Mm. I mean, like, young, eight years old. Mm. I was the person, the, the baby of the family, but it was called out to um, grandma sick or this person who was very sick. We know you're the health person. You look I was very deep as a child. I was still <laughs> love it. I just, oh, it just makes me excited. So I would go and take care of them. A piece of cancer. I was a person that helped get a lot of um, medication and friends and things like that. 
or go my mom with the foster home care. I was the children in the house. I helped people who didn't know what it was until they get a child. And instead of like dealing with those emotions, I said, hey, you want to go with? Mm. Hey, you want to dance? Let's go do X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. You know, or again, those patients that may be going through stuff, help them change their mind of where they are. I would love to get into hospital settings or the caretaker in person, help the caretakers yeah. who are caring for them so that mm-hmm. they can let go through that guilt, so mm-hmm. they can take care of themselves and be more holistically well for mm-hmm. them. Absolutely, absolutely. So can you give us a rundown on what you offer? Okay. So we provide educational services um, as far as health and wellness coaching. We also do training, workshops, and presentations on health and wellness practice, and as well as the experiential learning um, through, again, like I said earlier, through dance, movement, visual arts, and their care that's been approached to us. It's a combination of teaching, Mm-hmm. Um, and a learning environment where you get to have fun while you're at work or at home in your community yeah. and, and relax, be yourself, learn about who you are, and heal. Yeah. So where can they find you at and follow you? You can find and follow me at Everything Empowered to Be. That's the letter M-P-O-W-E-R-E-D-P-O-V-E, all one word. And that's www if you're at the website or at any of the social media platforms. Yeah. So do you do you feel that um, this journey inspired you to do solo traveling and what you do? I don't think it was it. I don't think it was the journey of entrepreneurship on its own. I've just always traveled. My father was a musician. He was blind, but he traveled the world mm. and played. And so one of my one of my deepest desires travel in the places that my father saw but didn't see. Okay. And to provide some type of um, dance there or performance there. Hi. Um, my mom, health care provider. So it's like, I'm like the, the merge between the two. Yeah. And so I think that started early off because I was traveling mm. as a young yeah. um, from state to state wherever anybody was going. Very I was nice. Traveling, I was going to go on, you know. It's just added to it because I get to see more people yeah. learn about traditions of what they're doing mm-hmm. because as a healthcare provider what what I understand is that I cannot give you a prescription. I'm not like a person who would give you a prescription. Right. But a person who would um, tell you that you needed to do X, Y, and Z because this person did it. No. Because you may have a different cultural thing that's mm-hmm. going on. There may be um, some type of medicine or something they're, they're using. So when I get to understand where you are from, what you actually do, I get to guide you through a conversation to do what is necessary in your own platform at times. Yep. I love that. Um, can you give any entrepreneur any advice, anything that you've learned? I know a lot of times we learn things about ourselves that we didn't know through our entrepreneur journey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't have all day for this. Let me go. <laughs> I am ever learning. One of the things I will say is be okay with being flexible. Be okay whenever things change. I know that change isn't always easy, um, but whenever you have a plan and you've written it out, you're a person who likes things to be a certain way, whenever they flow, you can flow with them. Mm -hmm. Keep your books in order. Mm -hmm. Start off and continue to keep your books in order with your bookkeeping and all of the other information. Stay connected, find mentorship, do things right. Oh, here's here's a big one. Here's a big one. When you start off, go ahead and get registered for everything. Go ahead and get the phone number. Go ahead and get the um, the address and everything in the system where it needs to be. Don't wait because you're like, oh, well, maybe I'll do it. I'm, uh-huh. I'm sort I'm sort of thinking about this. Yeah. If you sort of think about it. Don't do it. Right. If you're thinking about it, do it. Yeah. You know, again, that's that that change in me now. That's like, just go ahead and decide uh-huh. and own it. And once you decide, if it doesn't go the way you think, just flow with the choice that you made and make the big one. Mm, I love that. Thank you. And I'm so glad we finally got together yes. to have you on my show. Um, I want. I look forward to doing more things with you. Like as you're talking, I do a workshop quarterly. Um, so I would love to talk about possibly including you in that. 
um, cause you know, wanting to give entrepreneurs skills, um, because as we're being entrepreneurs, we forget about to take care of ourselves. Yeah. Um, and we don't realize that how we are personally really plays into how we run our business. Well, can I share one more thing? You sure can. So, um, I also had some time as an adjunct professor and teaching one of my classes. I had the Milton Creative Arts as well as Public Health Mixing. And the outcome of one of the students' projects, whenever she was telling what she learned from it, she said, you know, I didn't plan to be a person in this field. She said, but I thought about being in business. And what I've learned from this is that your business can be as healthy as you want it to be. Uh, be more healthier than you are. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And so it hit me. And I was like, oh, let me keep my face in here. Because uh -huh. right now, you know, it's, it's reflecting that. Yeah, no, it, absolutely. It just hit when those that you teach just come back and it's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because when my business, when I feel my business is chaotic, guarantee you my mind is. Mm -hmm. Every single time. It reflects me. And I see that now too where I'm in the flow. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I'm in this flow. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also know that you're just taking that time to take care of me. Mm -hmm. um, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual, and realign. Removing those things and people. Yeah. Even though we love them. Ah, which is hard. They're hard, but they're necessary. It is. I just had to. To remove someone and it was it's been hard but i i was telling a friend of mine um it's hard because i knew mm, and you didn't want to admit it or go ahead and yeah you knew mm -hmm. and so now i'm irritated with myself that's what it is wasted time <laughs> like wasted energy like why like you know alicia keys has a song wasted energy I do not. Look it up. Okay. I, I found that when during COVID, and that was one of my favorite songs. Yes, okay. ma'am. Look that up. Yeah. I, I it is. It is. It did you just did you been like it's your own fault? It is. Every you know, single time. Anyone but, but you know what? Once you do that once and get that pain, you're like, oh, that sunk. The next time you will not waddle in that yeah. as long. Yeah. It will hit you quicker. Yeah. You will act Quicker, hopefully, yes. And you make that decision and keep moving. Yeah. And now that decision, like if I get a if I get a text or anything, I'ma remember this moment. <laughs> ooh, 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 write it down. Remember, remember it. it. Yeah. Because it's also clouding up space. Yes. Where that new thing needs to come. Out. Yep. And we're like, oh, I want this and I want this. We're looking at this over here, looking at this over mm -hmm. here. Why isn't this happening? Because that thing right here that you're supposed to get rid of. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, so I hope that you all have been enjoying have enjoyed our episode and have learned a lot. Um, please reach out to her um, for her services and keep on the lookout for what she's doing. And I love the everything that you're about. I think you bring a lot of joy and peace to the world. Um, so please continue to do that. Um, and again, this has been Melissa Shaw with Our Generation, where we educate, empower, and inspire. And please check out my nonprofit at projectourgeneration.org um, to stay up to date with the different events that we have going on. And if you would like to support, reach out to um, that website um, and support. And we are out.